function in linked list is find the nth node or nth indexed node in a given linked list. So how to proceed towards this problem? Again, having a pictorial diagram is a very good idea to have. So we have a linked list. So let's construct an example linked list. So I draw a few nodes of the linked list. So let's say its first one is 3, next is 7, 21, 33, 25. So this is my linked list that has 5 elements. Then what should we have in the linked list? We must have the header. So we have this is the start or the head. You can call it anything. Head, pointer and this one is null. So now let's have some strategy of indexing. So let's say this is 0th node, 1st node, 2nd node, 3rd node and 4th node. So if we have a linked list of size n, so it will be ranging from 0 to n minus 1 nodes. Okay. So now let's see. So what should be our strategy? So again, uh, we should be getting the nth node. So I will write a function. So int get nth and what will I pass? Of course the head of the linked list so that I can know which one is the first element and then I can keep on traversing. So struct node star head and then what else should I pass? I should also pass which is the index so int idx okay so let's see now so what will I do now so I will define let's say int i is equal to 0 and then struct node star temp this is the temp is necessary for traversing so temp is equal to head okay so this is done now so next we come to next we have to traverse so we will kind of apply a loop so let's try a for loop this time so for temp is equal to head temp is not equal to null and temp is equal to temp next. So this is a very precise way of writing using a for loop. Temp is equal to head so I define temp here and make it equal to head and then while temp is not equal temp is not equal to null I do temp is equal to temp next okay so what I need to do now I need to do is that okay so I will say that okay now because I'm moving in a for loop so I will have i is equal to 0 and then I do here if i is equal to i d x which means that okay I have found the index now then return temp data ok so I will directly return the data or otherwise what will every time I have to do I have to do i plus plus okay so this will so we expect that sometime 
I will become equal to the index which we want to find and then I will return that but what happens if I don't find at all and that's node so I can do okay so if in this for loop it was not found I can do assert zero which means okay so there is no nth node and when can it happen if n is larger than the number of nodes in the linked list or something like that or if n is some negative number because we are giving int so in all these cases we return assert zero so what happens now so let's try to understand this uh, let's do some dry run so i call get ns with head and 3 ok so what will happen let's see the code here so it will go to this place i is equal to 0 initially struct node star temp is equal to head so temp becomes equal to head if i which means 0 is equal to 3 which is not true so it will not execute this line it will do i plus plus i is now 1 so it comes here so now temp is equal to temp next so temp comes here now what happens i is 1 1 is not equal to 3 this statement is not executed so i plus plus i becomes 2 and temp is equal to temp next so temp goes to which place now so temp comes here now what happens is again so i is 2 now so next so what happens is again so we are at this place and i plus plus so what happens now i becomes 3 and temp is equal to temp next so it comes here because temp next for this one is this so temp comes here and now i is equal to 3 which is equal to i dx so it returns temp data which is 33 so this is about getting the nth node from a linked list so if you like this lecture so please join and subscribe my youtube channel Saurabh school and you can do a like for this video and share this video with your friends which will be good for your friends as well as me thanks a lot